It's Friday, which means it's sip and so night here in Redmond. Uh, we are having a uh, not so glorious wet Redmond day, but that's okay because it's still Friday and I still get to spend time with all of you. Um, are we, Ray, are we up? Do we have any comments so we can say hello to our friends? Doctor. How's everybody Ooh, doing? That's me. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know if you've been tuning into my shows this week, but we've had our normal round of shows now that the new year has kicked off. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, we have a new uh, Quilt As You Go block that we started this week, which I'm going to be working on this evening on my little black side. Hello, Linda Wood from Texas. Nice to see y'all. Oh, hello, Mom. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, I have my red blend this evening, which is good. Um, I believe it is from Washington. No, it's a California blend. <laughs> you can see I was not paying attention when I was pouring my drink tonight. Um, I'm going to be working on some cutting. And so, are you guys really falling for this? Are you really falling for this? I gave you a solid five minutes to call her out. Hey, we're totally. We're, oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Piece of metal. Thank you. I'm like, what the heck? You thought I changed really fast, huh? Jennifer, who was on YouTube, didn't even call you out that our shirts were different. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, Carolyn says, hi, Denise. <laughs> hi, guys. You're not Darlene, Donna said. Thank you, you don't smell like Darlene, yeah. but you don't smell me, so. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, guys. Um, oh, jo Joanne Keeney knew. She, I did. So funny, Carla said. <laughs> Surprise, I have a secret guest tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, Mel says, I was most suspicious. Most suspicious. <laughs> no, I knew that was you, Denise. Okay, Jennifer. Okay. I was supposed to go into my whole diatribe about how awesome my sister was and how much I love her. I couldn't believe no one was saying anything. I'm like, come on, you guys. I know, but I got my hair cut, so it's almost the same yeah, length now. it's true. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go in because we have the same hair person, and she's probably going to cut mine even shorter. <laughs> <laughs> well, surprise, surprise, Denise is here. Hello, everyone. We thought we would have a little fun with y'all like we used to do when we were young. I said, y'all, they let me pass as a Southerner, even though I'm not. We, well, all of you all. All y'all. <laughs> you got to roll off your tongue. All y'all. Kelly, I was like, I'm like, wait. I knew I'm, it was not <laughs> <laughs> You guys are good. We can't pull anything over on That's you guys. right. Well, we are in for some fun this evening. Denise has been limited to one glass of wine. It's okay. She gets a little carried away. I like my Friday wine. <laughs> or the bottle. Or not the, just or just she likes her bottle of wine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, tonight is this the first sip and so of the year? Did we do um, I think it is the first sip and so yes, of the year. Yeah, you didn't do it on the first. Happy 2021! Hello! <laughs> we should have our hats on and stuff. Judy says we're going to scare the newbies. <laughs> no, let me, thank you for reminding me I need to remain professional here. I appreciate that. Judy, thank you for the, the, no, the reminder. So, I'm only having one glass of wine. I am Darlene. <laughs> this is Denise. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm with Featherweight Doctor here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Denise was around this afternoon. Her and I went and had massages. It was we rough. did some self-care. We, so we did Oh, right. That's the new word. <laughs> self-care. <laughs> Denise just used a straw. Jennifer said... <laughs> Jennifer, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's on number two already. Come, Melanie. No, this is more a sew and sip. I know than you guys. A sip and sew. I got in trouble last time for having too much. <laughs> oh, last night? No, the last time I was oh, on. I know. You I was. Me. Well, you did three glasses. Well, I'm like, and you said this is not that kind you of show. You can come Denise. on and hang out with my friends, <laughs> but you cannot have that much. <laughs> oh no, Donna says I'm new, and you don't scare me. You guys are great. <laughs> 
So I am with Featherweight Doctor. I am I am actually the Featherweight Doctor. Um, my daughter Ray is off camera here. She is um, my executive producer, and so you probably will hear her sneeze. She likes to do that kind of stuff while I'm on camera. Um, I'm all kinds of excited this week. I'm actually having a little trouble sleeping. I'm so excited. Um, well, I have a little trouble sleeping normally. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> she was up at 3 a.m. the other night because she took a three-hour nap. I'm like, I was tired. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But, yeah. <laughs> She's starting a new job, you guys, which Yay! means that we can't play as often. Cheers. <laughs> Why are you cheering? Into that? For her new job. Mm -hmm. We're excited for her. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, uh, so what was I saying? Oh, so why I'm excited. <laughs> okay, we start a new project, guys. Uh, for, for those of you just joining me for the first time today, um, Sip and Sew is what I call a low-content show. We literally grab a half a glass of wine, our featherweights, and whatever, well, we're having a half a glass of wine. I'm... <laughs> Our featherweights, and we are finding our happy places. <laughs> Mel says, for the newbies, the doctor says that Denise is the evil sister. I know you can't see my little horns. It's it's because her hair is really tall my, today. I like she hair. lives in Texas or something. Mm. <laughs> What's the saying? Higher the hair, closer to God. Oh, we say that all the time. <laughs> Higher the hair, closer to God. <laughs> Uh-oh, Kelly says, not a credit manager. No. Not a credit manager. <laughs> but I can help consult on credit management if you need any. Um, so we started a new project this week. I have been in full steam ahead because a So Expo. <laughs> so excited. So Expo is coming. Um, for those of you wanting to take a featherweight maintenance classes, but across the country, if your shops and classes are still not allowed in person, then I would like to invite you to attempt to get into my virtual class with Sew Expo. Um, it, the schedule is available now. You can see what my number code is. I don't have it handy. Um, but on January 12th, the schedule goes live and you can actually register for classes. The exciting part about Sew Expo this year is that it's virtual, which means that you don't have to be in reach of the Pacific Northwest. You don't have to be in Puyallup, Washington the weekend in February. Yay! So, um, anyway, uh, if you are, are at all interested in trying to get in that, I'm just going to give you fair warning that my class last year, which was the last in-person thing I did before all of the shutdown started, sold out in less than two hours. So, you want to be on top of whenever that schedule drops. I can have a few more people because it is virtual this year, um, and it is going to be a four-hour virtual class. You guys will be so sick of me by the end of four hours. <laughs> she can barely even handle me for four hours. <laughs> I can. Hi, Judy from Kansas. Thanks for joining us. Hi from the from Nelson, New Zealand. Be quiet, Whoa. Carolyn Jean Henry. Welcome. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. <laughs> That's awesome. So anyway, I've been doing a lot of stuff getting ready for that workshop. Um, there is a kit purchase required, which means I'm going to be doing a lot of shipping. Well, actually, Ray is going to be doing a lot of shipping. Um, <laughs> Darlene, what is the subject that you will be talking about for four hours four. at Quilt Expo <laughs> or at Sew Expo? I don't even want to listen to me for four hours. You're good for We're four gonna hours. We're going to have to pad in some breaks. Because that is a lot of Darlene. That is a lot of Darlene. Um, Y'all can handle it. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, it's basically a maintenance workshop. So how oh, to... Fun. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm not paying her to do this. <laughs> it means we're going to disassemble and reassemble our featherweights. <gasps> within reason. We're not getting crazy. We're not... Yes. There are so many different spots on my featherweight that I need to oil or grease. Are you mm -hmm. going to go through that? Every one of them. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I swear she's had three sips of wine, you guys. I swear. Look, yeah, see, well, it's I still... Had it refilled. <laughs> Hi, Kathy Klein from Central <laughs> Illinois. Thanks for joining us. All right. So that was going on this week. Um, 
I also was trying to get some blocks done for our winter solstice, so I had something to actually show you. So today I threw together the first block that we're going to be doing here. So pretty, you guys. So much fun. So excited. I might have um, to do this. I sent, I, well, you're on the list. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm doing this. She's, yeah, so give me your $15. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Do you get <laughs> Do you <laughs> Here's our block. Isn't it pretty? Yay. This is our winter geese block. You can tell our blocks this time are rectangular. Isn't that fun? So <laughs> your MX glasses are classes. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maintenance classes. Sorry. I, I Maybe I need my readers. Oh, please mm. don't. I got, no. I got my first pair of readers, you guys. She's excited about this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> She's excited about this. I have a question. Hi, Jackie. Oh, yes. Jackie on, says, hi, ladies. On your um, on your uh, flying geese block, do you teach them how to do it the fun way? Oh, we do. We're doing the no waste. I love that. Flying geese method. You guys should do it just for that whole yeah. reason. So, uh, we for those of you who joined me for Arizona Sky. Oh, do we have that in the computer? What? The, <laughs> the, um, did... Did you not put that picture in? I did. Oh, okay. So for those of you who are new tonight, um, we did another Quilt As You Go project, a 17-week one that ended between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I, some uh, a wonderful friend, uh, Rosalyn is her name. She sent me a picture of her finished quilt today. <gasps> you guys, it's so pretty. So Ray, I love her colors. Ray's mm -hmm. going to show everybody what that turned out. <laughs> Mary Fisher says, welcome to the Old Eyes Club. She has bifocals, too. You be quiet. It's back to you. Oh, okay. So, wasn't that cool? <laughs> All right. Mel says, your birthday present to yourself. Yeah, the readers. Right, exactly. <laughs> did you get your evil? Did you get your evil twin some readers? She has... I've we, had them before We both did. have the... What's it called? The progressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like, when I have my contacts on... Because my glasses really glare against all the lights in here, um, I don't. I don't. It's a single vision correction, so I don't have my. Look at me. Look at me I'm like leaning in, squinting. <laughs> all right. So tonight I'm going to be quilting on this. I want everybody to just pump the brakes for a second. I'm going to be doing some free motion. On this, I will be providing quilting instructions for both straight stitching and free motion for the winter solstice. Don't panic if you're newer to quilting. Um, sure panic. Yeah, I know. What do you mean you want us to free motion? There will be some advanced and then beginner quilting instructions. Kelly, we are not breaking the machine all the way down. She's like, let's break it down. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the basic maintenance class that will be taught at Expo. Um, basically, your oil, there'll be some historical information, oil and lube um, parts, um, how to check your timing, not timing, tension. Mm -hmm. Just make sure everything is good to go. It's basically what we do um, on an annual basis every time a machine comes through the shop. So that's what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also doing two free lectures. So if you guys are interested in just, you know, hearing uh, just a... <laughs> I'll be it. She's... <laughs> how, Ray, how do we make my text on my computer bigger? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't see anything. I'm just going to scoochie this a little bit closer there. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Oh, 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 okay. Touching things. All right. Welcome to... The, oh, yes. Okay, I got on my... Sorry, you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a little stippling here in my background. And then I'm going to do something different in my flying geese. I don't know yet, though. So I have set this machine up for free motion, um, which means that I have painter's tape over my feed dogs because obviously if you have a 221 you know that the feed dogs do not drop ray you can go to the oh let me just go to the low camera here there all right so i have oh let's put the presser foot down darling
So before I even um, got on with you guys tonight, I had to make sure that everything was in order with this, with Morticia. So one of the little tips that I like to give people with these machines um, is I always do keep a little practice like dummy sandwich around. Yes, I know, big fat chocker. It's Tula Pink fabric. Um, <laughs> it's not even her Tula it's Pink hers. fabric. It's hers. I do. It's I stole mine. It. You know, I throw a piece of batting in. Yeah, Lisa. I see Lisa. And then I just do a little practice bit to make sure that my tensions and everything are right. Lisa says, if you're using a Mac, just hit the command plus woman, you're a lifesaver command. Wait, do you want to do this now? No. Whoa. Whoa! Thanks. Oh, that's a lifesaver. No reading glasses no. required. <laughs> she's she's moving along, folks. Thank you, Lisa. You rock. Um, I am seriously going to remember that. <laughs> I've been on the computer so much today. So many like. Uh, trying to get the winter solstice paperwork together and stuff for Sew Expo and in between our foot massage and well lunch. We have to. <laughs> yeah, today was rough, everyone. We like Fridays like this. Denise abandons me to go to Idaho every other week, so. Yes, I abandoned her for lots of snow. Darlene makes this look easy, everyone, just so you know. She's been doing this a long time, and she's really good at it. Everybody can't do this? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. So I was, I told the gals over on Instagram, my son landed up not going home after all. Um... He decided to stay home another week. He's not been feeling very well. It's not COVID. He passed, he passed his COVID test. Um, <laughs> we have to say that now. I know. Um, but he just wanted to uh, rest up a little bit more before he goes home. He works really hard in Hawaii, and he does not, I feel you know, like that's kind of an oxymoron statement. I know, but, like, he does. <laughs> he doesn't really take a lot of time to take care of himself or anything. That is true. So... Um, I have very low expectations of him while he's here, and he can rest. That's a true statement. And I've been cooking a lot, so I think he just likes the food. You are a good cook, so I can see why <laughs> he likes the food. Oh, Pauline in Texas says that they might get a little snow on Sunday. Good Lord. Nice. Oh, can you review? Oh, sure, Mel. So Mel asked a question. You want me to be articulate and on the sip and so, Mel? Come on. Uh, can you review the adjustments needed for tension for free motion? Oh, make sure you should. Oh, Reagan, good job. <laughs> so, yes, the adjustments for um, free motion are the blue painter's tape over the feed dogs. You know, your... Uh, lever that is the, your stitch regulator and it's reverse or forward. I like it in the middle. That way the feed dogs are just going up and down. They're not pushing forwards or backwards. So then the tape stays in place. Um, a lot of times you have to tighten your upper tension assembly at least a, a number or two because the rate of speed that the thread is winging through the um, the tension discs usually needs to be kind of clamped down a little bit. This one, uh, which was calibrated recently, is sitting at a six, and your normal sewing should have you around a four um, if your upper tension assembly is calibrated properly. <laughs> Jeffrey Underwood says, wait, am I seeing double? You are. Mm -hmm. Identical twins. Woohoo! She's the evil. <laughs> oh, Yanni. Hi, Yanni. <laughs> Yanni works with Yanni. Oh. <laughs> I'm like a musician. 
So anyway, those are the adjustments. I also like to use the thread stand mail because uh, it helps, with, especially with Aurifil, the straight the thread to come off the cone without putting the wind or the twist in it. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. If you guys want a slower, um, more methodical explanation of that, there is a video on YouTube. Um, it I just want to ask for grace for everybody. It was one of the very first videos I did. I was not nearly as comfortable as I am today. It oh, was, stop it. <laughs> I watched it It'll recently and I was fine. like, why do I look like I'm going to throw up? <laughs> but it's like a seven minute video and it goes over the setup of free motion. It's good content. Um, and it's me with my Minnie Mouse, my red polka dot machine. So, okay, Kelly M says that's the sound of the tongue <laughs> of my tongue out. This is the free motion. What is the free motion foot you're using? Okay, I am using the one that we carry on the website. Free motion feet have, I'll show you, have a couple of characteristics to them. Uh, there's there's two different kinds, actually. Uh, well, there's several different kinds, but there's either open or to closed toed. Ray, go to the low camera. I'm going to show everybody a little bit better. Okay, so here's the foot I use. And see how this is a continuous circle? That's a closed toed darning foot. There are some that are open toed darning feet. Um, the only real difference is that they um, require an extra step to get your, th your bobbin thread up to the top. Oh, Ray, thanks for tagging it, sweetheart. We sell these for $11.95. The spring, because by nature, the darning foot has to be springy in order to hold the fabric but not clamp down on it in the bed. The spring is in the elbow here. So you can see this is where the spring action is. Um, okay, you can go high again. Thanks, sweet pea. And we're back. Pam Green says we might get snow in Northeast Louisiana. What? Oh, hi, Hope and Grace, if you guys are watching. Evil Twin Denise is here with me. Hello, ladies. <laughs> uh, may get two to three inches to make a snowman. Louisiana? Yeah. Holy moly. She lives on the, Pam lives on the border of um, Louisiana and uh, Mississippi. Isn't that right, sweetheart? But it, it's pretty warm down there. I didn't know you got snow. Well, I think that's the same snowstorm that's going to hit. Texas. Yeah, Texas. Oh, I see. It's widespread. Except not here. It's going to rain. Can you guys just get a break down there on the Gulf? No, I'm kidding. Mel, who's on here, I think she told me they battened down the hatches for eight hurricanes this and tropical storms this ridiculous year. Ridiculous hurricane season. They just moved there, she said, from San Antonio. Mm, I'm sorry. So it was their first year, and she was like, I'm going home. <laughs> what? <laughs> I understand. <laughs> All right. What do you do with the feed dogs? Hi, Miss Kathy. Kathy's a um, Kirkland quilter on Instagram. Hello, Kathy. Um, she lives in Woodenville, though, so she's... Wooville. Yeah. Uh, I cover the feed dogs with blue painter's tape. Here. So when I'm, when I'm free motion quilting, I'll cover them, but the minute I'm done for quilting that afternoon, I take the tape off. I don't leave any tape on. And I also try to make the um, the tape big enough to just cover, not to get onto the decals. So you, can you guys see, can you go low, right, to the lower camera? Go low, go low. See how my tape, oh shoot. Okay, <laughs> my power cord needs to be replaced. <laughs> And the Don't light turned that. off. <laughs> um, but just see, it's a small piece of blue painter's tape to cover the feed dogs. Oh, no. Come on. Sweet Lord. Okay. <laughs> Woo! That was scary. Close to Texas border, or near Nachahotes. Mm -mm. How do you say that? Don't embarrass yourself. No, I don't. Oh, Reagan said don't embarrass myself. It's a very long word. So put it in. <laughs> Mel says she's moving in with us, too. Mm -hmm. We would have so much oh, fun. I think Mel... Yeah, that would be bad. We'd burn the place down. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep stippling around here. <laughs> Once again, Darlene makes this look easy. It is not. It is super easy. You should see what I can do with a big neck sewing machine. Also, not easy. <laughs> She makes it look easy, but it is not. Oh, um, I want to show you guys, too. This week, 
So for those of you in Phoenix, I, uh, you're welcome, Miss Kathy. Um, I have some more workshops and classes coming up in, oh, it's at the end of March, 1st of April. And one of the classes, I'm pretty excited, uh, is going to be a Quilt As You Go class, which is, we're taking some of the um, Arizona sky blocks that we made and I'm making, we're making a table topper. Let me show you the, here's the sample. Isn't it cute? So in class, it's a four hour class. We're gonna make these four blocks and then we're gonna do the joins. You guys can see the back. I use some different colors. So cute. Um, anyway, this is the quilt sample that will be heading to a Quilters Oasis in Mesa, Arizona. And if you wanted to uh, have, to learn the technique and have me hovering over you telling me what a great job you're doing, <laughs> you can sign up for the class. <laughs> So anyway, so maybe for new people that don't know what quilt as you go means. Oh yeah, good call, Denise. I'm the newbie here too. So, <laughs> so quilt as you go is where you work on one block at a time. So you make the the top of the block, you sandwich it together. These are eight and a half inch squares. Our new winter solstice table runner is a rectangle, not a square, but it's a little bit bigger piece. Um. Anyway, then you pre quilt, construct pre-quilt just with the little eight and a half inch square so it's not as complicated then you trim you use some sashing and stripping techniques in between and then before you know it you can grow so although in class we're only doing this this is like a 17 inch square um sample it's the technique you can make a much bigger quilt the one we did for um arizona sky was almost 50 inches square but really there's no limit on how big you can go when you're only working a little eight inch squares at a time. So it's pretty cool. For those of you that don't maybe like to quilt your own stuff or you're intimidated by a big quilting project. Oh, Missy's, Missy jumped nice. over to, it's to really YouTube. Nice. Missy, I did not finish my son's quilt. It's behind me. It's on the rack right now. I was given another She's a little week. behind. She has oh, another Nakatish. quilt she's supposed Thank to be you. working on too. Thank you for correcting. I knew I was going to slaughter that. I apologize. <laughs> You should hear all the interesting cities in Seattle when we first moved here from New England. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of um, Native American yeah. cities here. Yep. And if you ever are driving around and asking for directions from Siri, you should hear her try to pronounce it. It's pretty funny. Yeah. We have a place called Squim, but it's spelled more like Sequim. Is <laughs> that one of the ladies on the news? The national news was quoting Squim for some reason, and she called it Sequim. I was like, That's oh, she's not from here. <laughs> You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> not from here. <laughs> not that we're that great at pronouncing it either. Mm. But. Or Puyallup. Yeah, Puyallup is definitely another one that's yep. not said at all like it's spelt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of those. <laughs> Didn't she just sound nice to me? Oh, she... This, well, I think the person running the machine is also very gifted, but yes, <laughs> she sounds wonderful. She has a nice ring to her. She does. I was kind of sad that So Expo this year, we don't get to go do that together. Oh, last year, we were there together. Last year, we were there together. I took a couple of days off work and helped Darlene with her classes that she had and they let her do like a it was pop may up. it was mayhem it was, it was mayhem there it was, was <laughs> I, okay so <laughs> it was the rows are like well, how many feet between in the rows like 10 12 foot aisles would you yes, say probably 10 okay. to 12 feet so i would be like <laughs> over in the speaking area where a couple hundred people were listening to a, a lecture and denise said because i left denise back in the booth with ray and mom <laughs> and they said that they could tell the minutes I stopped talking <sighs> because there was like a horde, a, a mob of wall women, of women with their credit cards <laughs> out. It was actually kind of cool. Like I kind of <laughs> wish I would have been taping it for the website or something because they were all running like, "I want this, I want this," and Ray and Mom and Denise are like. <gasps> Where's Darlene? And everybody's asking for me, and I or trying to talk to me like I'm her. Yeah, that happened. And the thinking that I'm weekend. rude because I don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> she 
She is, you guys. She's <laughs> so when I'm in her backyard, because she used to work in T-Mobile Land, and there was like how many hundreds of like twelve thousand people yeah. in that one in one building. So if I tried to go out at lunchtime, um. I, at least one person thought at least one person every time I went out would think I was you so I just got really accustomed to just smiling at everybody and then at my thing so true uh, at my thing oh Missy that's right we you were at the booth Missy's like it was so much fun the booth was crazy <laughs> Um, anyway uh, I, when when she is in my arena then everybody thinks She's yeah. Mean. So it just depends on who. So Darlene is not being rude if she doesn't automatically <laughs> recognize you. It may be just the fact that it's me and I'm trying to help. And she's really good with all of your names and Insta cities. names and stuff. And um, I try. I was a little nervous to open the show because she wanted me to say hello to you all, but I wasn't sure I was going to be able to know who it was. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it was it was so much fun last year. It is. I have Three never been now. so tired in my in oh. entire life. I was, so no one knows this, but uh, what, <laughs> after the workshop, so I did a two and a half hour workshop there with like, was it 30 people? We had so many people in that workshop. I'm doing screws and it was making me so nervous, <laughs> SEW. Um, and so we got back, we got done and I started trying to walk back, which was a good, oh. 400 foot mm -hmm. in between buildings and I started to pass out that's how exhausted I was so I had to like thank goodness Andy was there he's like sit down because he saw me start to go uh. <laughs> oh that was would have been red wine all over Ooh. your fabric <laughs> so it was I was exhausted it was a tiresome but amazing it was really fun Sandra says, I also, <gasps> Sandra, you have a twin sister? Is she the evil twin? And they're five minutes apart. We are three mm -hmm. minutes mm -hmm. apart. Darlene is technically, oh, I guess I'm, I, the, I'm the baby. You're no. the, technically the middle child. I'm the middle child, everyone. Because we have an older sister named Deb. Mm -hmm. um, she kicked me so she could get out first. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's why she has a dent in the back of her head. The rivalry started <laughs> in the womb. No, so, <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't know how funny this is, actually. My poor mother, our poor mother, poor mother. did not know she was having <laughs> twins because most twins sit, like, side to side like this, and we were front to back, and so they didn't do ultrasounds back then unless they suspected a problem, but they, so they're monitoring Denise the whole time. I was sitting out by her I on the back I was getting all the good milk, folks. Yeah, and uh, so thank goodness I'm... <laughs> <laughs> was on the back porch. You were on the front porch. I literally kicked her on the way out. I'm but sure. could you imagine though, like having? Oh, Ray, can you go put the? Um, uh oh, Ray, I think someone is trying to get their twelve minutes. Can you go throw the box with the Illy espresso machine and the um, manual in the box of thing out on the porch? Someone's coming to get it. I totally know right now. Thing. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> I had an extra espresso machine. It needed to find a new home. The little blue one? The little blue one, yeah. And everything that came with it. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, it, I can't even imagine, like, getting that over the way. There's another They're one. They're having the two babies. The first one, one is so beautiful. I don't know how we're going to possibly oh, do any better with Lord, the second one. Seriously. But. Well, and we were huge yeah, we by were twin huge. standards. I think I think our mom told us that... Um, Five and six pounds or something? Yeah. It was really... And my mom didn't, was, you know, a hundred and nothing pounds. I mean, tiny little gal. All stomach, apparently. Um, so, Sandra Garcia, are you the pretty twin? I'm the pretty twin. What? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm going to call BS on that. <laughs> going to call BS on that. Hey, it's my show. I'm the pretty one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then, everyone. Nancy's on. Hello, other mom. Oh, hello, mom. 
You missed the beginning of the show where I tried to impersonate your daughter-in-law. And everybody fell for it. Not everyone. Okay. There was a couple people who didn't fall for if it. The ones that got on your Insta preview knew because we had changed. We were not wearing the same outfit. <laughs> She's so fast, everyone. <clears throat> Poor little featherweight. It's going to be like, I need a break. Slow down, woman. Okay. Thank you, Mom. Six pound ten ounces and five pounds thirteen ounces. <laughs> Those are big babies for two. For two. Hi, Deanne Hartman. Mm -hmm. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Good gosh. Patsy you. says you girls are too much fun. <laughs> You're so much fun. <laughs> Sarah's on. Yay! Oh, lady. Come home. <laughs> Our friend Sarah, she rides her Peloton with us. She's on a couple's weekend with her husband. Your husband's fine. We're going to do a ride in the morning. You need to come home. <laughs> okay. One side Ooh. down. One side? What are you going to do inside the flying geese, darling? I know. I got to do something fun. Yeah. None of this weird stippling underachiever. <laughs> I'm going to stab myself. I need to take these pins out. I already put the screwdriver through my finger this week. Oh, hi, Deb. She says, sipping, not sewing. That's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> hi, Margaret from Arizona. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Is Margaret from Arizona, um, does she go to Quilters Oasis? Um, Margaret, what part of Arizona do you live in? Are you in Mesa or Scottsdale? Guys, better catch up to all the wine I've had. Oh, <laughs> she's limited tonight, Sarah. She has that. I left the wine upstairs on purpose. She's not nice. And I have to drive home, so it's probably good she limited me. <laughs> Sarah, I told... Is this appropriate? <laughs> no. I, uh, I told Dave that bread was coming. He got so excited. Sarah makes the most amazing sourdough. We call it Sarah dough. It's amazing. Deanne said headed to a birthday party for my granddaughter. That's amazing. Can't sew with you tonight, but wanted to say hi. Thanks for popping Hello. in, Deanne. Oh, she lives. Oh, Margaret says, oh, she's from Boise. I thought you were from Boise. Oh, okay. But she um, is a winter visitor. <laughs> Got email today from Oasis. Yay! Good. Was I on it? I hope that they're advertising the classes. Oh, Jackie wants to know what you're cutting out. Oh, boy. Okay, everyone. She is crazy. Remember I told you how she likes little pieces? Yes, I'm. look at all my pieces of paper I've got. This is called Decorative Stitches. It was a kit from from Free Spirit, right? It's yeah, with Tula, Tula Pink. Mm, Tula! Tula! <laughs> yeah, but look at all these little tiny pieces. She's crazy, and some of them oh. need to be fussy cut. I'm cutting 152 inch and a half squares at the moment. Doesn't that nope. sound like fun? Nope. All right, we have Carolyn, <laughs> um, Jean Henry from New Zealand. She said, summer holiday time down here in New Zealand. Nice. Perfect swimming at the beach weather. Whoa. A nice 22... Oh, Celsius. Oh, What's that? No, I don't know. I don't know the Is that thing. 70? No, it's 32. <laughs> Thanks for the quilt as you go and free motion tips and what type of foot you use on your featherweight. Enjoy your sister. Oh, enjoying your sisterly banter, 71. too. <laughs> 72 degrees. 70, ooh, yeah. Thank you, 72 degrees. 72 degrees is perfect. We call that bikini weather around yeah, here. Yeah, it's definitely way past short weather at that point. Although I found out when I was in Arizona last time with the dry... With the dry heat, 61 is still sweater weather. I was freezing. <sighs> Did not know you were a twin. Yes, Miss Melanie, I'm a twin. She's the evil twin. No, I'm not. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> She's only limiting me to one glass of wine. <laughs> that doesn't sound like the nice twin to me. Well, it's not come get plastered with me while I sew on a featherweight. <laughs> 
We're, in, we're literally in our happy place right now. We have a half a glass of wine. Wine is not required. And no. we are sewing on these beautiful little machines. Or cutting. What wine are you having? Miss Deb wants to know. It's a red blend out of Thousand Oak, California. Mm. It's really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like the white wines, but Denise <clears throat> does like prefers the red wines, so I had to open a red. Definitely. I'm not even counting these scores, you guys. I sure hope I wind up with 152 by the time I'm done. Maybe you should read your instructions. I am reading my instructions. I don't know. Call me crazy. <laughs> yes. 61 is definitely short weather in North Dakota. I'm with you. Is that Deanne? Deanne? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, for picking up. I'm drinking enough for both of you. Thank I got you, you Denise. <laughs> That's what our friend Sarah She's being says. so mean. Love California. It's delicious. Deb says mm -hmm. she loves California reds. Yeah, it's good. Oh, sore. What time is it? Okay, we're good for time. It is good. Okay. Oh, Sandy Martin says one glass. That is evil. Whoa, Sandy. Mm -hmm. She's dealing with a rotary cutter here. True. And I have cut the tip of my finger off before, so we <laughs> don't want to relive that incident. <laughs> All quilters have an emergency room stitch story. You're not really a quilter if you don't. <laughs> Lisa says, call me crazy. I love the 90 degree weather. I agree. No, no, no. Jackie says, keep drinking until you cut 150. She's <laughs> like seven glasses of wine. <laughs> Mel says, here we wear long pants uh, maybe twice a year. Yeah, you live down on the, on the uh, Gulf. Kathleen's on. Hi, Kathleen. She says, I live li near Thousand Oaks. So what's the name of the vendor? Oh, shoot. The glass, the wine's upstairs. It's a bottle. <laughs> She's hiding it from me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bottle that has a white label and it uh, has a black kind of creepy looking tree on it. And I, all it said was Thousand Oaks Red Blend. And it was a 3.9 on the wine spectrum. Ooh. So does anybody else buy wine because they like the label? Totally. <laughs> I've made some very poor decisions <laughs> on that criteria alone. <laughs> Has a cute dog, a handsome cowboy or horse, or my most recent one that I bought because I love the label was called Freak Show, which was a circus theme. It was awesome wine, though. Rosé bottle. <laughs> What'd you say? The rosé bottle. The rosé. Oh, the Cote de Rosé. Oh, Ray said she does not sample the wine. She's 17. But there is... It's gross. <laughs> not gross. No. <laughs> By the way, you're in good company. Sandy Martin on YouTube said that uh, she's a real quilter because she had a 2 a.m. ER visit missing fingertip story herself. <laughs> My nail grew back, though. I really oh, thought good. I was going to lose the nail, but... Yeah, Jennifer is a yes. You can get a dud. <laughs> So the, there's the Cote de Rosé. It's a sparkling rosé that Ooh. they carry, Ger Gerard something or other. They carry it at Costco for like 13 bucks. It is like a perfect back deck midsummer Ooh. sipper. And it the bottle is gorgeous. It's glass and it has a rose in, instead of like oh, the that's cool. regular peak. Oh. It has a rose. Part, less, less see, you. I told you she was going to sneeze. She's sneezing. <laughs> 50 people are going to be like, bless you, Ray, bless you, Ray, bless you, bless you. <laughs> Ooh, I almost grabbed her bow button. That would have been gross. Oh, you should move that away from me. <laughs> I think you can do that. I mean, boba's good in and of itself, but not paired with red wine. That's not No, good. that's not a good pairing. Mel also tried to cut her finger off. <sighs> she said, you have ER, I have glue. She's a retired um, oh. pediatrician. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you can I, take care of yourself, sister. I am a wuss, and my husband has to take me to the ER more than he wishes to admit, because sometimes when I almost cut my finger off, or my finger is going this way because I got bucked off my horse, sometimes you should just go to the ER. It's he not doesn't always... think you should go to the ER, though. He thinks you're a bit of a wuss when, he wants you, when you want to... It's true. It is true. 
Bernadette, my friend from Canada, says, my sister-in-law bought me a wine called Broken Needle. It was a rosé oh. from Broken Kiln in Southern Ontario. I will have to look for that. That sounds amazing. That sounds good. <laughs> Pam already said, I don't think she saw. Oh, you saw, you had a question, Pam? Let me look. Oh, yeah. Somebody did. Pam. Pam, Pam, where are you? Um, I don't see a question from you, Pam. I don't think she saw Pam. Pam, go ahead and ask your question again, my friend. I, I think it got lost in my feed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't see it. My husband doesn't quite tell me to suck it up buttercup when I ask him to take me to the ER, but he does give me the disappointed look. Like, oh, can't you just be tougher? Really? Blue painter's tape can do, oh, what do I cover the feed dogs with? Yes, I use, the, I only use blue painter's tape because there is a metal plate that Singer made back in the day that goes with the button holder that actually covers the feed dogs, but it has slidden out on me before and then you break your needle <laughs> and any kind of metal to metal contact can throw the machines out of time, which is not really a huge deal, but it's still a pain in the neck. So I like the painter's tape because it, does the trick, doesn't leave any residue, doesn't corrode your finish, and it will never scratch your machine. Burning kiln. Mm. Yes. Oh, Pam says, my question is, you ever done ruler work? Ah, thank you. That is a good question. It's a great question. So there is a product called mm, Westily. It's out of Australia. They, it's a special proprietary foot um, their universal low shank foot will work on the feather weights. And then they have a needle or a, a ruler system. I have done some. The Westerly um, program, what I like about the foot is that it's taller. The hopping foot, it's a closed toe darning foot basically, but it has a lip on it. So you can use it to slide the rulers against. Yeah. The issue is, Pam, with the Westerly program in particular and the featherweight is that you're really constricted with this little with this little <laughs> band with this little neck sewing machine and so you you have a hard time kind of navigating uh the machine uh, the project with the ruler inside the neck of the machine you like almost need every uh, acrylic extension table in order to have more space to put your hands and the rulers because you're mostly moving back and forth not side to side because you're going to hit the neck of the machine but yes it does work i have used it and it, it does what it's supposed to do nope. yes a uh, blue tape makes an excellent oh. bandage linda would thank you for that <laughs> I have used masking tape and electrical tape for... What about super glue? Like Mel. Have you used super glue? No. But I suppose I should try because that's what they do use in the ER these days. It's I just... would think that would sting so <laughs> bad. Well, it dries in two seconds, though. Good Lord, though. It gets in the wound. Mm. <laughs> hey, guys. I think I did 152. Are you sure? Maybe. Hold on. Let's see. See? What's he looking for? 152. Um, I think that's the guy that's... I know. What's he looking for? I don't know. That's the guy that... Want, he's putting the... He's looking at the coffee machine. I'll be right back. Denise is gonna... Whoa! It's me, everyone! <laughs> I'm not even gonna try this because nobody wants to watch this and me do it. It does burn. Thank you, Debbie Allen, for that. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, that was Rogue using his big boy voice. Shop Dog Road. Oh, no. Yes, uh, Bernadette Darlene uh, did a pretty severe injury on her uh, middle finger right before So Expo. I believe that's how I got roped into helping her that weekend. And she wound up with a surgery. And all kinds of uh, unfortunate things from not using appropriate gloves to Is remove she an me oil under the pan. Bus? Again. Yes, Bernadette. Oh. oh, my daughter cut her finger making her first Christmas. <laughs> making her first Christmas dinner this year. I bought her boyfriend a knife set. She needed Ooh. minor surgery, tendon repair. Oh, this sounds very familiar. Oh. Mm. Um, six months. Mm hmm. I was immobilized with like. A phallic looking bandage on my finger. And now she has an interesting Look, little hump, everyone, in her finger. I, so I've nice. actually kind of considered getting it fixed. No, you have not. This year. Well, because I'm not doing any shows. 
So this would um, be a good year to get this fixed. <laughs> <laughs> well, although I'll be on camera with my... <laughs> yes, because of course I did it to my middle finger on my right hand. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. My students had a lot of fun with me in my classes while I was casted and bandaged up for six months. Yes, thank goodness her sister was there to help her. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> I cut, Bernadette, I cut mine the um, night before a show. Like a big show. Not like, you know, like a 5,000 person show. Not a 500 person show. <laughs> and was it before Loden? The night before Loden? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank goodness she had taken the days off work already. But I was high as a kite on... I'm such a good sister, everyone. <laughs> on pain meds because I couldn't help do anything if it wasn't for Ray and Denise. Mm -hmm. And I had to go do a talk. I have no idea what I said. I'm sure you sounded good. <laughs> Everybody felt bad for me with like my, you know, my whole hand. Yeah, because she had to keep it elevated because if she put it oh, down, it started it to throb. So she's like this, like, doing her talk. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> ideally folks if you have to almost cut your finger off not the middle finger it was very 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 Good obstructive luck. how about we just don't drink cut and yeah. in darlene's case use sharp implements without appropriate protective gear it was the silliest, one of the silliest things I've ever done, too. Yeah, and then you stabbed your finger with the screwdriver this week, and I was like, were you wearing your glove? <laughs> I couldn't find it. <laughs> it's like I'm asking for it, right? It's like I'm asking for it. I don't want everybody to panic who has signed up for winter solstice. You do not... I will have separate instructions for you. Can anybody don't, worry? Yeah, don't don't think you have to do. Did you do that whole thing? Yeah. Okay, she's a rock star, everyone. Yeah, I did. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so ready to go low, Ray? Oh, what happened here? I wasn't even using that color thread. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, baby. Here she is. I am going to do something in the little geese, but I don't know what. I don't know what kind of, they kind of pop without. Yeah, I kind of like that it does create a little foreground, background mm -hmm. thing. Up. Oh, up. All right, right Bernadette says, that's what I see. That was the one way for my daughter to get out of cooking dinner forever. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's like when I tried to get my husband to do laundry when we first got married. <laughs> And he shrunk a couple of my cashmere sweaters, and he was like, oopsie, those weren't supposed to go did in the dryer. Did I do that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My husband did the same thing. <laughs> <clears throat> but in in my husband's defense, I did burn a couple of frozen pieces. <laughs> Good Lord, Ray. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> Wow, well, uh, I did burn a couple of frozen pizzas when I was first married, and I didn't have to cook for three years. Wow. Wow. We'd come home from work, and I'd be like, what are you going to make me for dinner, huh? Oh, goodness. Yeah, my husband has taken to uh, leaving, like, uh, ink pens in his clothes. Oh, geez. And so he's ruined, um, I don't know how many loads of white towels with putting an ink pen in there. So now he's... Uh, forbade from even putting his clothes in the washing machine. I have to go through all of his pockets now so that he doesn't ruin any more white towels. A hundred people just said, bless you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> or three. Or gesundheit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie Allen and Claire, I don't think that's how you spell that. <laughs> I think it might be. We got it. We got it. <laughs> oh, and, and Missy said, bless you, too. <laughs> <laughs> She has startlingly loud sneezes. I know, they scare me when mm -hmm. she's in the house. She has Andy's sneeze reflex, apparently. Because <laughs> when I sneeze, it's a little achoo. And she's like, achoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I think we are winding down. I'm going to get kicked off here. Right? Yeah. Look. And she's out winding. of wine. We're, We're winding wine. down. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. SCW. 
if you are at all interested in this new project, you can go out to the website and sign up. There's just a $15 entrance fee. I'll be doing the education for, um, for free, though, on camera on Wednesday, so you can just join in and watch if you want. Exactly. Uh, I will be back on Monday for our Featherweight University series. Yay! Yay! So if you have a friend that's new to Featherweights or if you're new to Featherweights, join me on Mondays in January for Featherweight University. This next week is going to be the cleaning discussion. Oh. Um, there's some very strong don'ts and just a few do's. So go ahead and join us at 4 o'clock Pacific no Standard Windex. Time. No. She tried to use Windex in front of me on a featherweight. No Windex, folks. That's the number one rule. <laughs> Hubby used to leave change in his pockets, Melanie said. Yikes. We like that. We call that laundry tips. Run for the stairs for the bottle, Jennifer says. <laughs> Jennifer. You're my people, Jennifer. You are totally my people. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back uh, on Monday. We'll see you then. Good